It was a special ceremony today for the families of 62 deceased veterans from Syracuse who received back the pictures of their loved ones taken with honor flight in September to the war memorials in D.C. News Channel Lions Kendra Brodus brings us to the moving tribute today. The ringing of a bell, the return of a photo, and a salute. 62 families were honored for their loved one's service. For Larry Beyer, today's ceremony was extra special. It's my birthday. No place I'd rather be. Larry's father was an Army veteran of World War II and the recipient of the Purple Heart. Larry's whole family traveled to Syracuse for this, ranging from his 98-year-old aunt to his grandson. My father was a hero, so he's, that's why we're here. Families gathered here today to commemorate the men that some of them didn't meet, but whose memory will be passed down from generation to generation. That's where eternal life comes in, is passing it down, and this would have meant the world to him. It's great that they do this for people. Nancy Hutchings' father, Franklin Thames, was also a World War II veteran who earned the Silver Star. A former teacher, Hutchings understands just how significant it is to remember. Well, it's just important that we understand that we are part of that history and we need to do what we can to keep this history going in the right direction. Thames was in his 50s when he passed away, so Nancy and her family feel it's wonderful to be able to remember him years after he has gone. He would have loved this. He, would, he was so proud of his service. He talked to us about it in high school, and of course we were like, eh, didn't want to listen, but he would have been very proud of today, and he would have been proud of the whole family showing up. Whether they knew them or not, it was important for everyone to be there. In Syracuse, Kendra Brodus, News Channel 9. To honor a deceased veteran, you can apply by going to honorflightsyracuse.org, then mail or email a photo to be taken on the journey to Washington, D.C. We're not done yet.